So welcome to the Bruce Lamb Awards party. Who's, is everyone partying? <laughs> All right, so here's the schedule for the presentation. It should take a little while, but you'll get back to drinking soon enough. And if you run out of beer, you can just make your way through the crowd and get, get another pour at the back. So we're, we're gonna start off with a little bit of a preamble from myself. Uh, then we'll go into the presentation of the medals, which is what everyone is here for, I'm sure. Uh, then we will go into the special presentation of the Henderson Cup, and then a little bit of wrap up. So uh, if, if there's a lot of people here, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a plug for the club. GTA Brews is our homebrew club. Uh, we have lots of things going on all the time. Uh, coming up soon, David's giving me a look. The hop buy, it will be coming up in the new year at some point. Uh, every year we contract a bunch of hops and they get uh, distributed amongst the club members. Uh, we also have a homebrew advent exchange, so we do 24 beers and then we all exchange and we have a new beer to drink every day of the month. Uh, we have regular monthly meetings, usually on the second Monday of the month. Uh, we have seasonal competitions, n nothing to announce at this point, uh, but we run smaller competitions throughout the year. And we have bulk grain buys, of course. So if you're a local here and you're here as a guest, it's your first time seeing a homebrew meeting or a homebrew event, uh, consider joining the club. So before we begin the, all the data and all the stuff that people are surely to doze off about, I'm here to, we really want to thank all our sponsors that made this possible. You can see the big fancy banner behind me. All the, all the award winners will come up here and get their medal in front of the banner. So our title sponsor this year is Toronto Brewing. Zach's over here. Maybe give a little wave to the crowd. Uh, fourth year is title sponsor and soon to be fifth, right? <laughs> But uh, we couldn't do this without Toronto Bring. Uh, they're taking all our entries and storing them in their shop for like weeks and weeks, taking up their whole hot fridge. And of course, all the volunteers get $20 gift cards and uh, all 20, and same as last year. And all the medal winners, <laughs> and all the medal winners, uh, the silver and bronzes are getting gift cards to Toronto Bring as well. Uh, thank you to Amsterdam and Junction for hosting our various events for the competition. Uh, Amsterdam hosting the judging, of course, and Junction hosting the awards party, and also many other things Junction is doing. Uh, other platinum sponsors, Henderson, uh, of course, sponsoring the Henderson Cup, which includes a $1,000 cash prize. Brew North, sponsoring a Robo Brew. Uh, everyone would love to get their hands on a Robo Brew, uh, and a Fermentosaurus, and I believe a few other things. Uh, Everwood Avenue Brew Shop out in uh, Maritimes, great supporter, have uh, been sponsoring us since the beginning, and they're platinum sponsor this year. White Labs, uh, platinum sponsor. Brew HQ, thank you, and uh, Grainfather are collaborating to sponsor a Grainfather for the Best of Show prize. Five Star Chemicals, the Brew Bag, and of course Highland Hot Farms. I, I saw him right over here. We have a platinum sponsor in the crowd, say hi. We got a few more slides. These are the gold sponsors for the competition. Thank you to our gold sponsors. I'll give a shout out for People's Pint and Catalyst like a little bit later, because they did some special work for the competition. Our silver sponsors. and our bronze sponsors. That's a lot of sponsors. I wish I could name every single person, but people might start booing me off the stage. It's a lot of sponsors. So, as part of what we do here, uh, we'll try to keep things interesting for the crowd, so we'll start you off with an easy a trivia question. If you were part of the Bruce Lamb crew, you cannot answer, but who in the crowd wants to take a guess at what BJCP stands for? This is the easiest question. If no one gets this, come on. Trivia question number one, what does BJCP stand for? There we go, Joe got it. So Joe, you can go see Rob over here for your prize. There are, pri there are prizes for these questions, that's why, that's why they're fun. That's right, the Beer Judge Certification Program. So, a little bit about the competition this year. Once again, we are the largest homebrew competition in Canada ever. 
we had 847 registered entries and 826 received entries. 810, 810, 8 out of 10 provinces, one territory, and we actually had some international entries for the first time this year. Uh, two, of, two different entrants from various United States, Pennsylvania and Connecticut, and we even had one person enter all the way from Israel, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we had 191 participants. I'm just going to stand down here so I can see my slides. 75 judges, 54 stewards, and 22 bottle people helping, people helping with bottle sorting. We had 31 different award categories for the medals. Uh, across, the judging was done over seven different sessions in one weekend, uh, and we averaged 7.5 entries per pair. So that's, that's if, you, if for people who aren't judges, Flight size might not seem important, but uh, having a large competition with a small flight size means the judges don't get fatigued, and this is something we put a lot of effort into. And uh, something that other people might be really interested to see, $16,000 in prizes are being given away today. And I think there's some prizes that we weren't expecting that showed up, so it might be higher than that. So some of the changes since 2017, we introduced a total cap of 850 entries. Uh, and we hit that within a week. Uh, we also reduced the cap from 15 entries last year to 12 entries per person this year. Uh, we refined the judging process, uh, and we published the medal categories at launch and uh, other things. So this slide is pretty interesting. It might give you a little bit of a hint of what's to come. Uh, 2017 versus 2018 local participation and Actually, there's some outcomes here too. So you can see here that Ontario is outperforming the number of entries that they have in converting to medals, which is fantastic to see. This is the first year that we've seen Ontario outperforming the uh, percentage of entries with the percentage of medals. And it's pretty amazing to see 73% of the entries coming from Ontario. Uh, it, was, it used to be less than 50%. And then there's the 2017 numbers for comparison. So something that we've had questions about in the past is that uh, what happened to my beer after I entered it? How, where did, which category was it judged in? Because I see all these categories coming up, but uh, which one includes my beer? So if you are curious in that way, you can go to our website. Um, I don't know if there's a laser pointer on here. Oh, there is. Uh, go to the Bruce Lamb Awards categories sheet and you can see which category includes the style that you entered. So a few more thank yous before we continue through onto the medals. Uh, so thank you to all the entrants. So that'd be people in this room. Thank you for entering the competition. Uh, a special thank you to the local entrants. And, uh, but thank you as well to the people watching on the live stream. Are we, do we have audio on the live stream yet, by the way? We do. OK, great. So the live stream can now hear us. Uh, and this will be posted on YouTube later for anyone who isn't able to make out my voice over the microphone. Uh, thank you to all the judges. Judges are always the hardest part of a competition because uh, there's a specific minimum barrier that you need to meet to be able to fill out a score sheet for beer. So we had, we had 75 judges this year, which is the most out of any beer competition, homebrew or commercial that I know of in the country. Uh, thank you to all the stewards, uh, stewards of the lifeblood of every competition, making sure things get to the table and get cleared on time. And of course, thank you to all the bottle sorters. That was a fun Sunday eve afternoon with pizza and we finished it all in a few hours. So uh, to, to all the volunteers that volunteered this year, we had two different gifts uh, that we gave out. One of them uh, is a second year doing this, Mark Varick uh, from Catalyst Brewing. Has everyone heard of Catalyst Brewing Company? And who, who follows them on social media and who doesn't? So if you don't follow them, please go give them, give them your attention because Mark spent dozens of hours at the table saw and with sandpaper uh, making all these openers that we gave out to our volunteers. Another volunteer gift that we did this year is we had a bottle of uh, Katharina Sour, which is an emerging provisional style. Uh, so we had, four, I believe it was a five-gallon pail of prickly pear concentrate and a five-gallon pail of pineapple concentrate went into making this beer, which is a, a lot of fruit. Uh, 
but it was a delicious beer and all our volunteers got to go home with a bottle. So if you're curious to know and you just entered this competition because you saw it online and you don't know all the effort that goes in, I wanted to show a, little, a few pictures of what goes on during all the uh, this bottle sorting and judging and all that. So this is what the bottle sorting looked like. You can see that if you've been to Toronto Brewery, you can see that the whole aisle here is filled with uh, the, the totes that we sorted into, which is a new addition this year. This is a picture of the judging room during the busy session, and uh, you can see it's filled with people filling out score sheets for your beer. This is a picture of the best of show table. If you squint hard enough, maybe you can tell which beer is yours, but probably not. Uh, but this is really colorful, and uh, the best of show happens with the best beers from every category in the competition. And uh, I'd be remiss not to spend a, a moment uh, talking about the Bruce Lamb crew. So you might notice a few people wandering around with these blue t-shirts. Uh, so these, these people are who I refer to as the Bruce Lamb crew. And uh, this is a special year uh, where my attention was fairly split because I was expecting a newborn and happened this week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so these guys really stepped it up this year and I really want everyone to give them a round of applause. Uh, and I'll, I'll call them all out by name. So Clayton Hoy, I believe he's here. He's our registrar for this year. Mike Vandervoort, standing right there. One of our sponsorship people this year. Our seller master, Jim. I know Jim is here. Jim, Jim spends all weekend in a cooler with earmuffs and gloves and sorts out bottles to go to the judging table. So it's a tough job, but Jim uh, manages it like a pro. Our head judge, Jesse Reynolds, he's somewhere in the crowd. You can see here this really candid photo of him reading the guidelines, which was probably the only time he looked at them that weekend. <laughs> so one of our sponsorship directors, James Candy. James is new to the sponsorship, the GTA Bruce Lamb crew this year, but he's been part of the GTA Bruce directorship for a long time. All the, all, almost all of the branding that you see that goes on social media or anywhere is done by him, so huge part of the team. Uh, Mark Hubbard is new to the Bruce Lamb team this year. You, I'm amazed at the stuff that he pulled off on social media. Every single uh, sponsor shout out was engaging and interactive and uh, great job. He's standing right there, he's, not, he's just kind of hiding behind. <laughs> but thank you, Mark. Rob, he's standing right here. Rob is part of the sponsorship team as well and he did a lot more than just sponsorship. Uh, but thank you, Rob. Emily, uh, standing way up on the crowd, on the, uh, <laughs> she, she really wants that shout out, but you can see here that she has a mustache, which we will get to later, but we are running a Movember campaign in memory of our friend John Maines, and we'll, we have some slides to talk about that later. Uh, Bear, we couldn't think of a, t a term that encompassed everything that Bear did for the competition, so we just called him crew member, which is really understating things, but, uh, he even made this little parking sign for during the judging weekend for every time I sent him out to find this little thing that we missed or go pick up food or something. So thank you, Bear. And um, I, I, I'm not thanking myself, but I'm there up there up there too. Surprise trivia question number two. So this is one I ask every year. If you've heard it before, please don't answer. Uh, but if you haven't heard this one before, please try and answer. So. Does everyone in the crowd, has you, have you heard the term SRM for referring to beer color? So you've heard this term before, but what does SRM stand for? Yeah, that's it. Who said that? Good, thank you. You get a prize, so. <laughs> Standard reference method. This, I give this one every year because people, it's, for some reason, none of the homebrew literature actually explains it. And now we're going to get on to the medals. So where did Zach wander off to? There we go. All right, so a special note here. Uh, we, I missed doing this last year, so I'm going to say it several times. If you are a medal winner and you get a medal here, please do not leave before the end of the ceremony. At the end, I want you all to come up to the front and we're going to take a picture with all the medal winners. So if you get a medal, please expect to come up to the front at the end of the, 
again, after you've already gotten your medal, come up again to, get, to take a picture at the end. So I, I don't know how much introduction Zach needs, but I'm going to give him an introduction anyways. So Zach, a uh, long-term supporter of the club since the very beginning, uh, of course. He's the owner of operator of Toronto Brewing, which he's wearing right here. And uh, he's a home brewer. He's a BJCP judge. He judged in the competition. If you get his score sheet, uh, you should tell him how much you like it. <laughs> and uh, he's, of course, he's the title sponsor. So Zach, Zach has done our MC position for several years now, and he's always fun to listen to because he asks people questions about their beer, how they made it, um, and it's, it's engaging to hear. So I think at this point I can hand it over. Yep. So next, next slide starts the medals. So I'm going to hand it over to Zach. Thank you, Eric. I got the papers. Thank you to Eric. Eric, come back up here. Eric's the president. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear my voice okay? <laughs> uh, let's give a big hand to Eric. Eric's the president of GTA Brews. He puts in a lot of hours. Eric also just had a child. Hey, uh, photographer. Sorry. Eric just had a child, so give him a congrats. He procreated. He, uh, yeah, just like yeast, have sex and make beer. You. All right, so we're moving on to uh, the award ceremony. I'd like a volunteer. Maybe someone could be my beer assistant. Cute. What a carrot dangle. I do not deserve this medal. This is the title sponsor medal because I didn't win any medals. I didn't say that at all. Wow. But seriously, I need someone to get me a beer. David, thank you. All right, guys, uh, welcome to Brew Slam 2018. I'm super proud. I'm Zach. I'm from Toronto Brewing. Super proud to be uh, here being the MC tonight. I'm going to be helping out, giving out some awards. I was, uh, I was a judge of this competition, and I just want to say that it was uh, one of the hardest um, uh, competitions to judge just because of all the great entries and all the entries were super to style. The best to show is like the hardest ever. And so if you won an award, good for you guys. Um, it, the competition was fierce and um, you really deserve it. So on to the next slide. So light lager, very hard category to win. There's nothing to hide behind when you brew a light lager. Sponsored by Rhythm and Brews, third place for light lager. Kicking it off goes to Mike Vandervoer for Maine's Light, American Light Lager. Come on up. All right, great. Second place. Eric Cousineau, Session Lager. Come on up, Eric. Give yourself a medal, not fixed, 100%. Congratulations, Eric. I just want to say that this year was not a shout out. Last year, I entered 15 beers and got zero medals, so. For all you booing me, last year I got zero medals. Congratulations. And first place for Light Lager goes to Mike Vandervoort. Come on down. Mike, for sure. Uh, give us a few words. Tell us about this beer. And, uh, so many of you know that we lost a dear friend and uh, a great brewer earlier this year, our dear friend John Maines, who inspired both of these beers, and they were both his recipes. Uh, there's not a day that I've brewed where I don't miss him right now. Both him, his mother, and his girlfriend are both in attendance over here, and I'd like them to join me. And I would like to present them with these medals. If you can put them on.
Awesome. <laughs> All right, Pale European Lager, 28 entries, sponsored by Muddy York Brewing Company. And third place goes to Dwayne Willis, Krieger's Lucky Coles, GTA Brews. Come on down. Right on. Cheers. Awesome. Congrats. So, uh, oh, and stay up here, stay up here. Second place goes to Stephen Rotterman. Horace Kolsch, come on down. And first place goes to Matt King, GTA Brews. Guys, come on down. Awesome. While we're waiting for the other guys to come up here, tell us a little bit about your beer and uh, what you did to make it special. Uh, I kept the malts really easy and simple. Uh, fermentation temperature was a big deal. Uh, obviously, when it comes to a, like a lager style beer, uh, you've got to take your time and have some patience. Um, and that's, that's basically it. I uh, just use a lot of German hops and German malts, and that's what uh, brought around the uh, Krieger's Lucky Kolsch. Right on. Thanks a lot. Congrats. All right, get out of here. Let these guys uh, get in here for a pick. Come on up, come on up. Congrats, let me Thanks. take a picture. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about your beer. Two sentences. What makes it? What what makes a good beer? Yeah. So uh, it's actually the first beer I've ever submitted in competition. First and only beer. Um, and I just kept the malt bill really simple and some really nice clean hops. Right on. Nice clean hops. Simple malt bill. Congrats. Cheers. Um, I just say with the cold, you, you got to keep ferment it cold. Ferment it cold and keep it. Aged long. I did a long fermentation on this one. What temperature did you ferment that? Oh, it, uh, being a Kolsch, it was around 60 degrees. 60 degrees? Yep, that's it. All right. There you go, guys. Congratulations to the winners. 60 degrees centi centigrade. Ferment your Kolsch at 60 to win. All right, next category Pilsner 24 entries, sponsored by Amsterdam Brewing. Third place winner is. Eric, Corey Day from Van Brewers. Well done, Corey Day. Well done. Corey's definitely watching. Second place, Alex Cochran from Van Brewers. Congrats, good Van Brewers showing. And first place goes to Marcelo. Come on down. Congratulations. Sir, tell us a little bit about Pilsner Monik. Um, it took a few iterations to get this beer uh, where I wanted to. And this is the kind of beer I grew up drinking, so it resonates with uh, something that I like. And a bit of luck and the process and how the community helping and the wife allowing me to brew it and how the people answering all the questions. And here we are. Thank you. Cheers. Awesome. For Amber Lager, 27 entries. Third place goes to Blaine Carr, GTA Bruce. Second place goes to David Scott, Hosers, Hamilton. And first place goes to John Averino, GTA Bruce for his all beer. Come on down. Congratulations. Get a picture here. All right, pictures for all. Everyone in the picture. Get in the picture. Yeah, give everyone medals. We'll do a collective picture. All right, guys. So we got a bunch of uh, alt beers and Marzins, amber lager category. Gonna ask these guys what makes a good alt beer. What makes a good Marzin? All right, go ahead. Just keep the oxygen out. Lots of yeast. That's pretty much it. Lots of healthy yeast. How much keep yeast? Two pitches, starter? I, uh, I did a three liter starter. Three liter, ten, starter. three liter starter, 1007. Kept it at like 55 and it overflowed like crazy, but made a good beer. So that's it. Wow. Three liter starter. That's what it took. Good for you. Congrats. All right. Congratulations. Tell us a little bit about your beer. Well, this, I, it's my, uh, I call it Roketoberfest. Uh, being October, I like to do an Oktoberfest. Just 
it's kind of the festive time to have an Oktoberfest. First one I did, actually, and uh, it, it turned out very well. I thought I would enter it into the competition. Cool. Thanks. Congrats. Congrats again. Cheers. All right, congrats, guys. Okay, okay, Dark Lager, 19 entries. Sponsored by Junction Craft Brewing. We're at Junction Craft Brewing right now. Everyone give a hand to Junction Craft Brewing. Thank you very much, Junction. What a great venue. This is a beautiful, beautiful brewery. It's really like a, a shrine to craft beer. Dark Lager, third place, Brad Drost from True Gris. Congratulations. Second place goes to Alex Cochran from Brand Brewers. Congrats. First place goes to Trevor Armstrong. Durham Homebrewers Club. Is Trevor here? Trevor just started brewing, wins first place in dark lager. Trevor, congrats. Take a picture. Tell us a little bit about your, do your dark lager, your uh, who wears Schwartz Schwartz. I had, I had two in this category, so I'm glad this one uh, won because it's got a clever name, fairly clever. Um, first Schwartz beer I've ever done. Brewed it about six months ago. Um, brewing classic styles, I think it was the base recipe, I made a couple of subs, but uh, uh, at WLP 833 is a yeast I use. So there's the tips that which I can beer? give. Wait, which yeast? Uh, 833. 833? 833, yeah. Oh, uh, awesome. Southern German lager. That's one, that's one, yeah. I think so. All right. Is this work? Southern German Lager, 833, first place. It might be Bach. 833, trivia question. What is WLP 833? So, I, I thought it was Southern. All right. Brett, tell us a little bit about your Munich Dunkel. I'd like to thank um, Escarpment Labs Munich Yeast. It did all the work. Munich Yeast did all the work. Congrats. Thanks again. So just an administrative note. If you want a medal, there's a prize table over there with prizes that you've won. So if you want a medal and you didn't go see the prize table, please go get your prizes. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. On to the next slide, please. Surprise trivia question. What is the name for the starchy component that makes up most of the barley kernel? Endosperm, come on down. Hang on, hang on, come on down, come on down. That was too easy. If you are a master brewer and you really know beer, I'm gonna ask you a trivia question. And only if you get this question will you be able to redeem your prize. Otherwise, you're not getting your prize. In six seconds, name five types of specialty IPA. Go. New England IPA, uh, Schwartz IPA, um, Cascadian Dark. Um, no, no, Schwartz and Cascadian Dark are the same. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Redeem yourself, redeem yourself. What are the other ones? Double IPA, triple IPA, um, single, IPA. single IPA. That's not a, that's not a specialty IPA. We got the red IPA. We got the white IPA. We had a Belgian IPA, session IPA, Schwarz and Cascadian Dark. You deserve a prize. You can get a prize. Get a prize. All right, six Bach, third Robert Dorskin, Cowtown East Wranglers, second place Eric Kuzno. GTA Bruce, first place. Clayton Hoy, come on down. We have don't say out of box and don't say out of box. Stay out of box. <laughs> wow, guys, tell us a little bit about your beers and uh, why you won. Me? Yeah, Clayton. Uh, no specialty here. I brewed a beer that only had eight entries, so didn't have to be that good. <laughs> just, just had to be better than Eric's a little bit. He, my secret to winning is he told me to stay out of box, so I didn't. Yeah, but you didn't win. You didn't beat me. <laughs> That's why I didn't make up a, a cocky name. <laughs> That's incredible. Very great brewers. Congrats, guys. All right, seven English Pale Ale, 29 entries. 
Third place, Trevor Armstrong, come on down. Second place, Chris Hughes for a strong bidder. And first place, Stephen Rotterman. Congrats, guys. Come on down. Trevor. Quick, tell us uh, what yeast, what malt did you use in your strong bitter? Uh, this beer has done pretty good for me, actually, all, all this year. Um, Maris Otter, big fan of MO. Uh, and then obviously 002, so English Ale. Um, I bought one pack uh, a year ago. I took it to late generation 13, just refreshed it a couple weeks ago. So it's uh, pretty strong. Very impressive. Congrats again. Awesome. Second medal. Congrats. Take a picture, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your beer. Uh, I couldn't, I'm lost for words right now, but yeah, it was just a great extra ESP. It's, I didn't know if it fit the category, but I've entered it and here I am, top price. Awesome, congrats, cheers. All right, congrats guys. Next category, Scottish and Irish Ale, 21 entries. Third place goes to Dwayne Willis, GTA Brews. Second place goes to Marianne Scott, Edmonton Homebrew Guild. First place goes to Bear, GTA Brews. Congratulations, Mike Van is the beer name for the Irish Red Ale. Come on up here, tell us a little bit about your Irish Red. Shake my hand. Um, well, the important thing uh, when making an Irish Red is you have to have a shot of Jameson whiskey about every 15 minutes. And I used uh, four leaf clovers in a whirlpool. Very. Uh, the reason it's called M Congratulations Mike Van is because about two weeks prior we were competing in Last Brewer's Standing. And Mike Van actually won that category. I knew he would win it. Therefore, that was the name of the beer. Awesome. Cheers. Congrats. All right, next category. American Pale Ale, 29 entries, sponsored by Left Field. My favorite beer, American Pale Ale. Third place, John Averino, co-brewer, Mark McCormick. Second place. Jace Gouda, first place, James Kennedy. Congrats, James. Come on up for a picture. Congrats. Thanks, man. Tell us a little bit about your beer. A lot of hops. Uh, Mosaic Eldorado Centennial and uh, WLP 644. Throws a lot of uh, mango and pineapple esters. And you can do it at room temperature. So you don't need your fermentation chamber when it's busy. So that's what I got going. WLP 644 and a lot of hops. Very cool. I'm, I'm Aaron Kennedy. Aaron Kennedy, James is Kennedy's sister. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about James Kennedy. Um, he's a great guy. He's a firefighter. Uh, he makes really good beer. Yeah, he's a good brother. James, good brother, good brewer, also designed all of our graphics. So give James a shout out. Everyone give James a hand. And James' sister, congratulations. All right, next category. Other American Pale Ale, 25 entries, sponsored by Northern Maverick Brewing. Every other month we have our homebrew club meeting on the first Monday of every month. Every other month, second month, Third place, Chelsea Tessier. Second place, Kevin O'Reilly. First place, Mark Hubbard. Come on down, Mark. Very impressive. Mark, congratulations. Tell us a little bit about your beer. Nice hat. Thanks. Uh, this is a special beer for me that, uh, that I meddled because 
This beer contained hop, wild hops that I picked in my uncle's backyard back in New Brunswick. So I called this batch Dose of Home. Uh, so yeah, that's, I'm uh, pretty happy that it meddled. Awesome, Mark. Congrats again. Cheers. Next category. Amber and Brown American Nails, sponsored by Mosaic City Brewing. Third place. Steve Bryson. Second place. Steven Rotterman. First place. Corey Day, Van Brewers. Congrats, Corey Day. All right, guys, come get your medals. Next category, category 12. All right, only first place is going to tell us how they won first place from now on. Next category. Congrats, guys. Hey, you want a picture? Come get a picture. Come get a picture. Yeah, come get a Category picture. Shout out Corey Good Day, job, Corey. not in the picture. Wish you were here, Corey. Corey is a great brewer. Shout out to Corey Day. English Brown Ale, 26th Century, sponsored by Black Oak Brewing. True OGs, third place. Jamie Fowler, second place. Marianne Scott, first place. Alex Cochran from Van Brewers. Congrats, guys. Come on up, come on up. Tell us a bit about your beer, 26 entries. Uh, that, whoa, Jesus. Uh, it was an extract beer uh, that I brewed for KPL DIY Fest, and it was really good, so I entered it. Yeah, thanks. All right, congrats, <laughs> yeah. Extract beer for the win. Surprise trivia question. Name one of the four new styles. Come on up, you got it. Hey, on, no, 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 come on up here, come on up here. Um, surprise trivia question to redeem your prize. Name five, name eight hops that you would find in an IPA West Coast in 16 seconds right now, eight hops. Simcoe, Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, El Dorado, uh, Mosaic, Equinot, was that eight? Seven. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Galaxy. All right. No. Yeah. All right. C collect your prize. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Very impressive. All right. Next category. Porter, 17 entries, sponsored by People's Pint Brewing. Shout out to People's Pint Brewing. Woo! Third place, Jay Skudat, GTA Brews. Second place, Jesse Reynolds. First place, Alex Cocker and Van Brewers. Congrats, guys. Jesse Reynolds. Congratulations. Jesse is a great brewer, hardcore brewer. He's not. Oh. All right, Jesse, come on up for a second. Just tell us quickly about your beer, very, very quickly. Uh, I followed the uh, Mike Van method, which is just add a shit ton of hops to everything, and uh, it worked out pretty well. Uh, whoever Alex Cochran is, uh, I guess he added more hops. Who knows? All right, more hops in the porter. Next category, Stout. 21 entries, sponsored by Cowbell Brewing. Great brewery. Third place, Colin Green, GTA Brews. Second place, Paul Johnson, co-brewer, Matthew McDougall. First place, Matt Cowan, Moon Bear, Sweet Stout, GTA Brews. Come on down, guys. Congratulations. That's cool, you're second, you can come on down. I dig the plaid. Congratulations. We're going to do a group photo. 
Matt. Come on up. In order to win your prize, I'm going to ask you a trivia question. Oh, fuck. Name five types of stout according to the BJCP style in six seconds. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to happen. You're in the middle. Um, Dry. You got it. Hey! Congratulations. I don't think I did. All right, group picture, guys. Oh, group picture's over. Group picture. Um, you tell us a little bit about your beer really quickly. You have a little bit of beer on your arm. Yeah, I do. It's because it's delicious, that's why. I don't know. What else do you want me to tell you about it? How can you have a taste? You got bud. Cheers. That looks like a great beer. Great hat. All right, guys, get off the stage. <laughs> Next category. Strong Stout, 29 entries, sponsored by Rouge River Brewery, great brewery. Third place goes to Chelsea Tessier, Edmonton Homebrewers Guild. Second place goes to Mike Downs, members of Parliament, The Mob. First place, Mike Bollinger, Imperial Stout. Congratulations, guys. Surprise trivia question. What was the original purpose of this facility right here? Waste transfer and incineration, correct. Congrats, grab a prize. All right, next category. Sponsored by Great Lakes Brewing, American IPA, 41 entries. Third place. Clayton Hoy, Hurricane Clay, Hurricane Clay. Second place, Joe Sim, Durham Homebrewers Club. And first place goes to Trevor Armstrong. Clayton, congratulations. Thank you, sir. What hops did you use in your beer? Oh, sorry. I copied Mike's recipe, so whatever he used, and I even named it after his, like, his wife's beer, so I don't know. All right, thanks a lot. Trevor, what hops did you use? Experimental. Experimental hops. All right, Joe, what hops did you use? Uh, Galaxy and Citra. Awesome. It's like cheating. Very much cheating. All right, group shot, group shot, guys. Get on the stage. 41 entries. These guys are legends. Cheers, guys. Got it. Nailed it. All right, next category. Other IPA, 29 entries, sponsored by Reinhardt Brewing. Great brewery, right around the corner. Third place, Kim Watts, co-brewer, Matt Jox. Second place, Cedric Villeneuve. First place, Mike Vandervoort! <laughs> Come on up for a picture. Come on up. Kim, tell us a little bit about your beer. I don't know. I just, uh, what hops? Uh, what hops? All Australian hops. Uh, Enigma, Vic Secret, uh, with Quebec yeast on uh, Marisada Pale. So. Very cool, very cool. Congrats. All right, next category. German wheat and rye, 18 entries. Third place. Mark Varick and Cobra Mike Vandervoort, come on down. Third, second place, Andrew Cook. First place, Andrew Cook, congratulations. Come on up, guys, group picture. Wow, Andrew, come on up here. 
Got a little Mr. T starter kit over there. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about your beers. Uh, the Duncan I, uh, Cold Steep, I think that's probably, and then it was basic. Wheat in it. Very cool, congrats. All right, next category, category 19, Belgian and French Ale. 37 entries spotted by Catalyst Brewing Company. Third place goes to Chelsea Tessier. Again, congrats. Second place. Dane Gillen Williams, co brewer Ben Jankowski. First place. Shane Martin. Come on down, Shane. With the wheat breader, call it a saison. Shane, where are you, Shane? All right, guys. Congratulations on your beer. Congrats, little picture. Tell us a little bit about your beer. Uh, Saison DuPont yeast. We use Saison DuPont yeast. I got nothing. They use Saison DuPont yeast. Great, great yeast. Congrats, guys. Shane Martin, are you here? <laughs> You've got like a 15% beer in your hand. I, I want a sip of it. I'm going to chug my beer while you tell us about your beer, and then you can pour me your beer. I don't even know what this beer is. It was the wheat breader. Call it a Saison. Oh, it was uh, a seven month old Saison. Seven-month-old Saison, what do we have here? A uh, four-year-old Imperial Farmhouse Ale. Shane is one of the best brewers we got. Congratulations, man. Next, Belgian Strong Ale, 43 entries. Sponsored by Indie Ale House. Third place, Jay Avret, Belgian Double. Second place, Tremis Sensizian, Free Return. First place, Philip Metz, GTA Brews. Phil, congratulations, Belgian Dark Strong. Congrats. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about your beer. What yeast did you use? Uh, just Abbey Ale yeast, uh, regular WLP, I think. And uh, it's just a two-year-old quad. Two-year-old quad. Congrats yeah. again. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers, guys. 21, Sour Beer. 28 entries, sponsored by Indie Ale House. Third place, John Sobiera. Second place, Andrew Cherry, GTA Brews. And first place, Chris Potts. Congratulations, guys. Tell us what yeast you used. Ah, for yeast for the sour, I used a rose layer blend, actually, from Y yeast, so that's the one I used to do it with some other microbes. But uh, beyond that, let it age for over a year, and that's the key thing. Awesome. Congrats. All right. What, ye what uh, beer did you brew? Tell us about your uh, yeast and your process. Sure. I used some uh, pro pro probiotic yeast. Um, just uh, soured it over about 24 hours soured it with, uh, and then put some uh, citrate hops in to give it a little bit of kick. Cool. Thanks. Congratulations. Next. Surprise trivia question number six. How many judges helped in the GTA Bruce Slam homebrew competition? David. David, come on up. I think you guessed it. Come on up here. Congratulations. I have a bonus trivia question. Name five types of English ale yeast in six seconds to win your prize. Uh, Nottingham, uh, dry, English no, one, English, English, English one, English two, English three, English, three, English, four. English four, um, Zach's favorite. Ringwood, Ringwood yes. Uh, USO four, SO four. All right, you win, you win, you got it, you got it. Respect. Congratulations. S strong ale, 15 entries. I'm grilling people, you know, I like to grill people. All right. 
third, Travis Curry and co-brewer Brandon Curry. Congratulations, GTA Brews. Second place, Jason Ferber, London Homebrewers Guild. And first place for Strong Ale, Jeremy Visser, Durham Homebrewers Club. Congratulations, guys. Jason, come on down. Tell us a little bit about your beer. Um, first, first thing you have to do is uh, go to Toronto Brewing and get an oxygenation kit. Um, oxygen really helped with this beer. Um, it really maxed out my mash ton. That's about it. Awesome. Congrats. Guys, come on up here. Group picture. Group picture. Group picture. All right, cheers, guys. Fruit beer, 39 entries, sponsored by Burdock. Third place goes to Corey Day. Congratulations, Corey. Second place, Corey Day. And first place, here you go! In your face, Corey Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Corey. Eric, tell us what you did to beat Corey Day. Oh, you're not going to like it. Uh, so this is one of my classic Eric tricks where I put passion fruit puree in an APA that was getting kind of old, and then I entered it. <laughs> so don't age this one. Recognize Corey Day. Say in your face, Corey Day. I, I don't want to. <laughs> Just kidding, we love you, Corey Day. Congratulations on the two medals. 24, Spice Herb Vegetable Beer, 50 entries. Sponsored by Silly Sir. Give Silly Sir a shout out. <laughs> Woo! Third place, Chris Potts. Second place, Dwayne Willis, co brewer, Kristen Willis. And first place. And first place for spice or vegetable goes to Sean Carey. Congratulations. Come on up, congrats. Awesome, thanks a lot. I can't picture. believe that thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, cheers. All right, next category. Smoked, flavored, and wood-aged beer. Love this category. 33 entries. Third place goes to Steve Bryson, GTA Brews. Second place goes to Ralph Van Heron. And first place for Smoked goes to Steve Bryson. First and third. Right on. Angus Got Wood and Gingeropolis Rex. Come on up here. Get, let's do a picture. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Got a, uh, yeah, we have that thing right there. Yeah. All right, cheers. Thank you very Congrats. much. Congrats. For surprise trivia question, name at least three of the main ions that brewers use in water chemistry. Cricket sounds. Did someone say... All right, and the next category is 26, American Wild Ale, biggest category, 60 entries, sponsored by Folly Brew Pub. Third place goes to Jeffrey Archer, Cobra Jova Chen. Second place, Brian Marmario. First place. Ron Chan, congrats, guys. <laughs> Come on down. Come on down, take a picture. Come on up on the stage, don't be afraid. Cheers. All right. You can ask the first place guy. 
All right. Hey, congratulations. Tell us quickly about your beer. Um, it's a kettle sour. Um, just use a very neutral yeast. Just let, just let the lacto to, uh, do its thing. All right, awesome. Congrats again. Cheers. Next category. Special to beer, 35 entries, sponsored by Rorschach. Third place goes to Rob Toll. Come on down. Second place goes to Alvaro Reyes, Van Brewers. First place goes to Mark Burling, Raspberry Gem Sour Ale. Woo, Rob, come take a picture. Group picture, guys. Quickly, tell us a bit about your beer. Uh, it was turned out to be a Muskoka Detour clone. Um, they list a lot of their ingredients on their site, but the some they didn't. They just experiment with it and uh, see what comes out. Awesome. Huge congrats. All right. Tell us about the Raspberry Gem Sour Ale. That was a uh, golden sour, uh, mixed fermented golden sour. It's that on raspberries, mangoes, dry hopped with mosaic and mandarina Bavaria. That's it. Awesome, congrats. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers. Awesome, next category, traditional mead at nine entries. Third place goes to Benjamin Lowen, first try, sweet mead. Second place, Philip Metz. First place, Sarah Vassar. Congrats, guys. Again. Yeah, no worries. All right, quickly tell us about your uh, your meat. Uh, I, I don't really remember making it, but uh, nutrition schedule, I think, is the most important part. A lot of nutrients. Awesome. Congrats. Next category, specialty meat, 22 entries. Third place, Steven Snudden. Second place. Matthew Kilpatrick, first place. Steven Snudden, kebab, congrats. All right, next category. Mead maker of the year, Steven Snudden, congratulations, well done. Everyone give him a hand. Surprise trivia question, what is the main active ingredient in no rinse sanita sanitizers like star sand? It is water and phosphoric acid. Congratulations, Mike Vanderburg. Come on down. All right, 30 traditional cider, nine entries. Sponsored by Pommy Cider Co. We're gonna get Eric to uh, announce this while I go get another beer. And I gotta go to the water. Okay. okay. Third place, Jeremy Visser. I know Jeremy's still here. Second place, Glenn Stevens. And first place, Justin Angavare. All right, moving on to specialty cider. The last category of the main event. And then moving on to the uh, major awards afterwards. Hopefully Zach comes back for best to show, otherwise I will be forced to announce it on his behalf. Third pla uh, so we had an honorable mention in this category for Peter Hug. Then we had third place for Peter Hug. Uh-oh, he's, he's grimacing already. <laughs> Second place was TJ Tully. Okay, you can back off away, and then Peter Hug again. <laughs> So we have third and first. So since I only have two hands, you have to put your own medals on, but I'll shake your hand at the same time. <laughs> That's okay. Right. I think people are getting bored. All right. cool. oh, you gotta take a picture though.
And don't go too far, because uh, Cider Maker of the Year also goes to Peter Hug. <clears throat> All right. So Peter's going to go home with a sore back. I'm walking home, too. Peter's going to walk home with a sore back. All right, thank you, Peter. So surprise trivia question number nine, which kind of acid occurs in almost all kinds of sour beer? I don't, lactic, who said lactic? There we go, Jeremy got it. Eric, tell us, the th tell us three types of Britannomyces and two types of bacteria that occur in sour beer, five seconds. Well, there's only two types of Britannomyces, and Omelis and Bruxellensis. <laughs> Fail. Brett Brooks, Brett Klaus, Brett Lambicus. They are. Best of show. Eric wanted me to tell you a bit about the best of show. Best of show is pretty interesting. This was a really good best of show. We, uh, we had a lot of good beers to judge. Every single beer. I tried was really true to style and it was one of the hardest ever. It was really a matter of finding that like really small imperfection in a beer that disqualified it. So if you won best of show, um, th this is the cat these are the three best beers out of 800, 850 entries, 826 entries, these are the top three of 826. This is pretty impressive. I tried them myself. Everyone who was involved in Best of Show, uh, give a shout out to them. But uh, these are the top three. Trevor Armstrong, come on down for his New England IPA, DHC. Congrats. And second place, Mike Vanderboer for his mains lager. Congrats, stay up here, Mike. And first place goes to Chris Potts, congratulations. Guys, you brewed, the num you brewed in the top three of all of these beers. Just give us one quick little nugget before we get back to drinking of what these people can do to brew better beer when they go back home. Um, I just tried to do what John did with loggers in every step and show the effort and dedication that he does to his loggers. And I'm just so honored that I was able to achieve up to his standards. Also, we have a, a bucket here uh, that you can donate money to for Movember in the honor of John Maines. So if you have any loose change or bills, please come up and put some in. It would be greatly appreciated. And John, we love you. So nuggets for brewing. I'm, I'm trying to think of things that I do differently than maybe most. So I guess my number one thing would be RO water. So I start with the blank slate especially for this type of beer. Um, you get to build your water, play with it. And, uh, and yeah, that's really the big tip I can give. Um, took me about four different versions to get where this is now. This is my third brew. So, uh, <laughs> the uh, Citra Galaxy Mosaic's in there for sure. There's a couple others too, but uh, uh, the main three. It's not experimental. No, I, 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 this is getting good. Cool. So, congrats, Thanks, Len. Man. Cheers. Awesome. Awesome guys. Thanks again to Toronto Brewing. That's my life. Thank <laughs> Thanks again to Toronto Brewing for their continued support of the GTA Brews. Eric will present a few more awards, followed by the Henderson Cup. I'm gonna reverse those bullet points next year. Alright, so we have a few more awards to give away. These are awards that are awarded based on the cumulative results from the medal categories. Um, so you can see here. Last year, we gave Mike the Toronto Brewer of the Year trophy. And if you've been counting along, you might know that he won again this year. But only by 0.5. <laughs> and if Mark hadn't entered with his name on his entry, we would have tied. <laughs> so.
get this drink. <laughs> no, two more, two more words. Congratulations, Steve. I started counting, and then Steve's name kept coming up. I was like, oh, he's going to pass me too. But that's okay. Not quite. Um, so we have another award uh, to present. Uh, so it's been mentioned a few times. Uh, John Maines, who was our head steward last year, co-head steward last year, uh, he passed away back in June, unfortunately. Uh, he was a very active member of the club, and he was also a very active member on the Brew of the Year circuit. So if you, you might wonder why we have a live stream, and it's because this is a Canadian-wide competition, and people from Vancouver are watching, people are from Ottawa. So, and John was very active on that circuit. I think he was top five for several years in a row. Uh, so we thought it was appropriate to create an award where um, it would be awarded to, for, handed a wide, because we have lots of local only awards, and we, we wanted to have an award that was, uh, Mike and I talked, and we wanted to have an award that reflected both local and Canada wide. So it's, it's awarded to the top overall brewer. Oh, I guess I have something in the middle there, but um, so before I go on to awarding the John Means Award and calling up uh, John's mom, Rosalind, to announce it, uh, I, Mike mentioned it briefly. We have a, a, uh, we have a bucket up here. Uh, for Maine's Mo's, which is our Movember campaign. Uh, you, there are several people in the room. Who's participating in, who's one of the people rowing or running? I know Emily and Bear and Marcello and Maddie. Uh, I think there's a few more people. Evans, of course. Evans, the one who spearheaded the whole thing. Um, and I, Brian. Uh, so thanks to all you people who are putting time in to raise money for Movember. Uh, John was a big supporter of Movember, of course. Um, there's a collection box up front. If you donate more than $20, you get a tax receipt and a special gift, I believe, that I'm not allowed to mention for over $50. But, uh, so we're going to move on to the award. Hopefully, yeah, okay, I animated this slide. Good. So uh, we're going to have this award presented by Rosalind, John's mom. So please come up. So this is new for this year, awarded to the top overall entrant uh, with the highest medal point count from all beer categories and not just local entrants, 184 people. I just wanted to... S I'll have you read it off the slide because I didn't tell you the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, no, no, you can talk first. Oh, okay. Of course, sorry. I just <laughs> wanted to say I know Jonathan is watching and he's really pleased by what you've done for him, guys. Thank you so much. Third, Trevor Armstrong. Second, Mike Vandervoort. First, Alex Cochran. And what's the, what's the prize? Okay, yes. It's a big thing, isn't it? So yeah, I'll explain a little bit. So we, we have a 10 gallon corny keg uh, from John and we've polished it up and we're gonna turn it into, name to be solidified, but I wanna call it the Bruce Lamb Keg of Fame. And we're gonna put up the top brewer's name every year going forward. Uh, and it would be like the keg of fame, like the hall of fame or whatever. Um, I think that's an appropriate way because uh, John was active in the whole circuit Canada wide. Uh, so, well, of course, we're not going to ship a 10 gallon corny keg to Vancouver this year. So I made up um, another prize. Um, the John Means Award for Top Brewer, Bruce Lamb 2018 to Alex Cochran, and we'll ship this out to Vancouver. And so this is our, our volunteer prize, and we put a plaque on it. I'm, but uh, we'll have the trophy soon. The trophy? Yeah. Uh, we, did it, was the trophy... Zach, were you bringing the trophy? Who brought the trophy? Was someone bringing the, uh, the, sh the polished keg? Okay. We'll bring it out apparently afterwards. Sorry. But uh, did you want to say anything else? No, thank okay. you. Okay. Th thank you so much. Okay, so you may have heard mention of a $1,000 cash prize earlier, and we're getting to that time now. But we have one surprise trivia question first to set the mood. So who remembers? You can't, you can't put your name up if you won. It seems that Nick remembers, so I'm going to say Nick. Who were the previous two winners of the Henderson Cup? All right, so Nick Cole wins. I'm not giving the prize to Ed. So that's the surprise trivia question, and now we are going to move on to the Henderson Cup. So uh, setting the 
context for the Henderson Cup, the top 10 GTA Brews entries were requested to submit a third bottle. Henderson uh, performed judging and selected who they want to have come in and win the Henderson Cup. So uh, I don't know how much more, I, I guess uh, the winner gets the title. The Hen you guys can make your way up, please. Yeah. Uh, so the winner gets the title, the Henderson Cup winner for the year, $1,000 cash prize, and they get to brew. Is it, is it always going to be February? Okay, so it will be the February Ides beer again this year. Uh, so to present the Henderson Cup, I'm going to pass the mic off to Buffy and Jamie. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Buffy. This is Jamie. Uh, this is the third year that we're handing out the Henderson Cup prize, and it will be the Ides of February beer. Um, we're really excited to announce the award. First, we'll talk about it a little bit. There's three components to it. The first is that um, the winner gets their name engraved on this highly prestigious trophy. <laughs> uh, the second is that there's a thousand dollar cash prize awarded at the end of the brew day. And the third component of the award is brewing at the brewery. So you'll brew on our 20 hex system, and uh, it'll probably end up being 40 hex. So a double brew, big day. And then it'll be our beer. And then it is the Ides of February. We have a launch party. It's a branded beer product that sold within the brewery and on tap and goes into bars and restaurants. So it's super great. Uh, we're all home brewers uh, at Henderson. That's how we got our start. And all of the brews that everyone makes and everything that everybody provides for us to judge is all inspiration for us. So we're really grateful for everything that you guys do and, uh, and all the beers that we get to drink. It's excellent. On that note, the Henderson Cup winner is Marcelo Pinanza. Congratulations. Congratulations. Marcelo won for a Pilsner. Yes. It was very tasty. Um, it's up to you what you want to brew. You can brew another Pilsner. You can do whatever you want inspired. Congratulations. We're excited to have you come brew. Thank you very much. Chris. Congratulations. Thank you very much for. <laughs> oh, he's still speechless. That's great. So that's the last prize that we're giving out this year. Uh, thank you for answering. Thank you for coming and listening to us. Uh, I have a few short comments, and then I'm going to ask all the medal winners to come to the front to make it take a picture. So Zach already mentioned some of this, but keep in mind this is a huge competition. The competition is fierce. So if you didn't medal, please don't feel bad. Um, there's all. Pretty much all of Canada's most passionate and, pa and talented brewers are entering and winning lots of medals. And, a, and keep in mind, a score, you don't have to score a 50 to have a good beer. I, in my opinion, personally, anything over 35 is an amazing beer. Anything over 30 is a really good beer. So if you received a score above 30, you should be proud. Uh, it, and another thing, uh, if you see mini BOS checked on your profile, uh, then you should know that you're really close to meddling. So if you're looking for additional feedback around how close you were to meddling, um, that's, that's the feedback. So some of you might be wondering, where are my score sheets? Uh, it's been two weeks since you judged. Where are my score sheets? Well, you can log in to the software later tonight once I and flip the switch and look for this gavel icon ne next to each of your entries. And you can download your PDFs for each uh, score sheet, for each entry's score sheets. So uh, when I send out the email with, with the link to the results on torontobrewing.ca, I'll make sure that the score sheets are live. They're not live this second, but they will be soon. So once again, thanks for listening. Score sheets are available. Hope to see you at a future GTA Brews event. Uh, enjoy the rest of the party. And if you want a medal, please make your way to the front. 
and we're going to take a group picture.